Hi and welcome to eduglory.com. Subtraction is indeed a very simple operation using Vedic method. But is the same trick applicable to carry out the subtraction of decimal numbers? Yes, we can also perform subtraction of decimal numbers using Vedic method but in a slightly different manner. So let's try to do it. For example, 4, 6, 2, 8, minus 8, 4, 6, 0.5. While subtracting the decimals from whole numbers, make sure that the decimals are lined up. This means that we don't have to change the position of decimal points. So, we write here 4, 6, 2, 8, minus 8, 4, 6, point 5. To line up the decimal points, we make a decimal point after the digit 8. And as there is no digit after the decimal, we'll simply take it as 0. Also, no digit is present before the number 8. So, we'll consider this no digit as 0. Now, we proceed for subtraction. First of all, we'll consider the digits after the decimal point. The upper digit is 0 and the lower digit is 5. However, 5 cannot be subtracted from the number 0 and thus we'll simply take the complement of number 5 that is 10 minus 5 and that equals to 5. Then we add this number 5 to the upper digit at 1's place which is 0. Thus, 5 plus 0 gives 5. So, we write here 5 as an answer at tens place after the decimal point and make a carry over the number 6. So, it becomes dotted 6. The value of dotted 6 is equal to 6 plus 1 and that is 7. Now, consider the digits at one's place before the decimal point. Here the upper digit 8 is larger while the lower digit dotted 6 which means 7 is smaller. Therefore we can directly subtract dotted 6 from 8. Thus 8 minus dotted 6 equals to 8 minus 7 and that is equal to 1. Hence we get 1 as an answer at one's place before the decimal point. Moving on to tens place, we can see that again the upper digit 2 is smaller than the lower digit 4. Therefore, we take the complement of number 4 and that is 10 minus 4 which is equal to 6. Then we add 6 to the upper digit 2 and that equals to 8. So, we write 8 as an answer at tens place and make a carry over 8 and thus it becomes dotted 8. Dotted 8 means 8 plus 1 and that equals to 9. So, the value of dotted 8 is 9. Now, looking at the digits 6 and 8 at hundreds place, we come to know that dotted 8, which means 9, cannot be subtracted from 6. Thus, taking the complement of number 9, that is 10 minus 9, we get 1. Adding this number 1 to the upper digit 6, we get 7. Hence, we get 7 as an answer at hundreds place. And then, we proceed by making a carry over the number 0. Thus, dotted 0 represents 0 plus 1 and that equals to 1. Henceforth, moving on to the digits at thousands place, we would subtract dotted 0 from 4, that is 4 minus 1, which gives 3 as an answer at thousands place. Therefore, we get the complete answer 3, 7, 8, 1, 
0.5. In this way, subtraction using Vedic method is more faster and easier as compared to conventional method of borrowing, especially when the subtraction is to be performed for large numbers and decimal numbers.